All right, Cosmogenesis. I mean, you guys will like this one because it's super short, so get pumped. Cosmogenesis sediment. Uh, actually, I'm not talking about Cosmo Kramer. I'm talking about cosmonaut, which was the Russian word for astronauts. And these are things from outer space. Uh, the macroscopic ones are very, 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 very rare. You almost never see them. But the ones that we have found are called chondrites, and they're made mostly of a silica. Uh, they're a silicate rock. They've got some iron and nickel in there. You also have. Uh, ones that are made uh, mostly iron, which we just call irons, not the ones for golfing, but yeah, you get the idea. Again, the macroscopic one's pretty rare because, you know, the atmosphere is up there just, you know, destroying whatever would try to come into it. So here are some macroscopic pieces of cosmogenesis debris. Uh, there's an iron, there's not an iron, and this uh, that's covered up, that is a Canadian, like, dollar coin. Just to give you a little perspective on the size of these. You also have these really, really, really teensy little itty bitty ones called spherules. These are pieces of meteors. Uh, they're a lot more common. They're microscopic. Many of them are tektites, which are actually formed when a meteor and another meteor hit into each other and break off little itty bits of meteor gook all over the place. 90% uh, of this is going to be destroyed by the atmosphere. And then a lot of it will be dissolved into the ocean floor. Uh, the glassy stuff, the ones that have a lot of silicates, they tend to not dissolve, and so they just float down and sink, which is really kind of nifty. So those are cosmogenous sediments, big ones, little ones, that's it.